This is my first stab at knife making. I chose a whittling knife for several reasons. First of all, I like to whittle. The blades on these types of knives are small, so my small forge should be able to handle the heat treating. If this project is successful, I could make more whittling knives with custom shaped blades for different cutting jobs. The ability to make my own knife also lets me custom shape the handle for better comfort and control while whittling. I used an old file I got at a yard sale for the blade. I first tested the metal by heating past magnetic and quenching. If this makes the metal brittle, then I know I can harden it. After proving to myself that the metal was hardenable, I then reheated the file past magnetic and let air cool to soften the metal to make it easier to cut and shape. I think the correct term for this is annealing. I cut the file to rough shape with a hacksaw and a grinding wheel. I then used files to make the bevel and the edge relief. I clamped the blade to a piece of scrap wood to file the bevel. I was able to easily file the blade because I first annealed the metal. I used emery paper to work out the file marks. I didn't spend a lot of time making the blade pretty. I did use a wire wheel to clean up the part of the blade that still looked like a file. So here's what the blade looked like before heat treating. I tried to leave the edge thick enough so that it wouldn't crack when I quenched it. I heated the blade until it would not stick to a magnet. Then I gave it a little more heat before quenching in canola oil. The oil was about room temp. I did not preheat it. I used a file to check that the metal was hardened. I compared the annealed section to the section I quenched. I then cleaned up the blade and baked it in the kitchen oven for one hour at 400 degrees and then another one hour after cooling completely. I think the term for this process is tempering. The idea is to remove some hardness so the blade is tough and not so brittle. Here's how the blade looked after tempering. I think the brownish color is referred to as straw color. I polished the blade by wet sanding with 400 grit. I used WD-40 as my lubricant. Again, I was not going for beauty. I wanted this first knife to be functional. I used the coarse stone to put an edge on the blade. This process took some time since I left the edge pretty thick prior to heat treating. For the handle, I went with a two-piece mortise type hidden tang. This was the simplest handle design for me to make. I ended up using a small flat screwdriver with a sharpened edge to cut the mortise. I used my jigsaw to cut the rough shape of the handle out. I glued the two halves together, making sure the blade still fit even with the halves clamped. I used a sanding drum on my drill press to shape the edges of the handle. I was able to match my pattern pretty closely. I used a rasp to round the edges and add some contour. Here's the handle after my rasp work. Feels really good in the hand. I went through several grades of sandpaper to get the handle smooth. I used JB Weld to glue the blade. This was the slow cure JB Weld. I don't know why I was working so fast. I used my cardboard pattern to mark the handle for the pins. I drilled smaller pilot holes before drilling to size for the pins. 
I chamfered the hole slightly to allow the pins room to mushroom when peening. I put a metal plate under the handle while I peened the pins. I didn't do too badly. I only missed and smacked the wood a couple of times. I used some extra fine sandpaper to clean up around the pins before applying the finish. I used boiled linseed oil like I always do, but instead of applying it with a cotton rag, I used a piece of super fine synthetic steel wool. After a few coats of the linseed oil, I sharpened the blade on fine and extra fine stones. To test the edge, I carved this little owl out of basswood. It's called a 5 minute owl, but for me it was more like a 30 minute owl. The blade remained sharp throughout the project. I am happy with the knife's ability to hold an edge. I hope you enjoyed my first stab at knife making. Thanks for watching.